Yes. Okay, just arrived at the track and I'm going to take you through a specific session, the one that we did on day two of our warm weather training at camp. It's a potentiated speed training session with a free lap timed fly 20 meters. And as one of the athletes was late arriving yesterday, we're also going to see a little bit of triple jump bounding. As we go through the workout, I'm going to explain what we do and why we did it and give you some ideas and rationale as to how you can construct your own training sessions. We're going to start off with a unit one of basic drills, on the spot movement, sprint drills. And then we're going to go on to some more dynamic moving forwards, unit one drills. Change. Go. Go. Two more. Ready. Go. Go. Unit two, we're going to do jump drills, which I found really do potentiate the athletes. They have to move quickly and then jump in some cases, or we've got isometric holds and then jumping. So this will really fire up the neuromuscular system. A little jump before you jump. It's not easy. <laughs> That's better, good. Good. Then in unit three, it's the downhill drills and some runs. When running down a gradient, you've got to make sure that you run down it somewhat obviously and don't try and break. You've got to let your momentum carry you forwards. So some of the guys were actually breaking a little bit and you've got to just run light. You've got to let your feet move underneath you and don't try to stop yourself from utilizing the momentum generated by the downgrade. Obviously, there's a big debate about whether or not downhill running actually works in terms of being able to create greater velocities. However, as I've said in numerous videos, we do it, yes, to potentiate, but also from the eccentric benefits in that there will be, nine times out of ten, some breaking on each stride. And that slight breaking, that slight eccentric muscular action can assist when it comes to getting greater vertical velocity when jumping, for example, or indeed when sprinting. As every time your foot hits the track, there will be a reaction, a braking movement before you propel yourself forwards through the concentric phase. Okay, we're heading back now to the track to do this timed 20 meter fly runs with free lap. The sprint session went reasonably well. We had some relatively good times. Across the board I expected a little bit quicker potentially, however the new group member Livia ran particularly well, getting a low 220 for the fly 20 times. Jay, who didn't do the technical session yesterday, he was doing three bounds and a jump and went over 17 meters. As you can see, his technique is improving and he was able to hold his phases particularly well, or at least a lot better than what he was. We found that by slowing it down, he's got the time to get into the shapes and the double arm action is definitely helping as well. So all in all, it was a good session. Tomorrow we're on to a strength and conditioning session. Well, it is actually day three of our training camp and we've just done our weight training session. But I thought I'd sign off the day two video by asking you guys whether you like the format, 
and whether you'd like to see more of those types of videos. And as usual, do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you've got on this video and any others in the section below or through my other social media. 